In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about working with DVDs and clips within DVDs uh, within ProPresenter 4. ProPresenter has the ability to play back DVDs directly from your DVD-ROM drive that would be included in your computer. So you can load up any DVD into your system and play that out of ProPresenter. Now, as a general rule, we don't recommend playing DVDs directly during uh, a, a live production, just because our own personal experience has shown this to be somewhat uh, problematic, whether you're using a standalone DVD player or a computer to do this. However, uh, there are those circumstances where you don't have the ability to rip the disc uh, to your hard drive or to rip that particular segment that you want off of the DVD to your hard drive. So this tutorial is going to just kind of go through how you can very quickly create in and out points of a particular DVD and then play it to your audience. So to start with, I'm actually going to come up to the DVD um, icon in my toolbar. I could also go under the view menu and select DVD. And what this is going to do is it's going to pull up the DVD player interface. And I've loaded a DVD into my DVD-ROM drive. This is uh, changed and interface experience. This is for a missions organization um, that teaches students uh, how to be missionaries in uh, tribal, um, tribal villages. And so if I want to actually, uh, this, is, this is fully navigable just like a regular, you, you would in your regular DVD player at this point. So I can actually choose a, a menu option within here as I want to. Uh, if I want, I can actually just use the menu options that are shown within this interface. And uh, it's important to note, you're going to see everything that we're doing with regards to setting up our DVD clips within this, this small windowed DVD interface. Uh, but we can't simultaneously show it on the operator display and simultaneously show it to the audience. So you're getting one or the other. These are the limitations that we have with the ways that we can actually work with DVDs given the, the frameworks that, uh, that the computer manufacturers uh, place on us in, in working with these things. So I'm actually, let's say I wanted to create a clip of, let's say this landscapes section. So I'm actually just gonna click on that and uh, it's gonna fade out as just part of the DVD. And I'm actually gonna pause this because I really wanna start this right at the beginning. And I can actually just hit the set button underneath start. And that's actually going to set uh, my start point for this particular video. And then I can actually either watch the video uh, and, and go to a particular part of the video. I can actually scrub within this timeline. This allows me to actually jump to any particular part. And I'm just gonna want, this is a pretty short clip, so I'm actually just gonna go to the end um, and, and set my, my end point there. And so now that I've, I've set these different options, I can actually save this clip, and this was called Landscapes. So I'm actually gonna just call it Landscapes and then hit Save. And when I do that, you'll notice that a clip has shown up in the right-hand side here. And this clip, when I click on it, is going to play just like it was a, a QuickTime movie or whatnot, but it's actually going to play the specific uh, clip that I had specified. So this is going right to that landscapes uh, section of the DVD and playing that along with the, the related audio. So I can stop that. But oftentimes what I want to do is I will want to add this clip to a uh, to my playlist and I can do that just like anything within ProPresenter 4 you can hold down the command key and click and drag this into your playlist and so when I do that and I'll just close out of this when I do that when I get to the the end of I will rise if I want to start playing this video clip all I have to do is click on it and then in this case it's opening up the interface and starting to play this if I were actually um, full screen, this is what my audience would actually see. So that's how you can set up clips within ProPresenter. And, uh, and work with those. You can also set up DVD clips. I'll go ahead and set up another one, uh, again, just by navigating to the menu, and uh, I'll go to the, the short film and quickly create a, uh, a video clip of that. So I'll set this at the start point, and then I'll go to the end using the scrubber, and I'll set my end point there, and then I'll save this one as the short film. And I'll say save, and that created another clip here. 
This way I can actually, uh, if I want to, I can specify um, a DVD queue at the, when I click on a particular slide. So at the beginning of the song I have a blank slide. I can actually hold down the command key and drag this DVD clip to this first slide. So when I, if I wanted to, uh, to queue this right at the very first part of the song, I can do that just by clicking on it. And that will automatically um, to play that particular uh, DVD it's clip. Said that our lives are like landscapes. Each one of us has a world that we know. So then when I click on a, a different slide, then the DVD clip would go away and we would actually get right into uh, the, the, the text or the lyrics of the song. So other options that you have with regards to DVD playback, those are the ways that you can actually play DVD clips, but we also have a number of different options under the ProPresenter preferences. Uh, for one, there's a DVD menu option in preferences that allow us to disable the DVD playback feature altogether if we want to. We can also prevent the DVD from spinning down. What this does is it allows us to access the DVD after, let's say the computer's just been sitting there for an hour or so. It gives us instant access to these different clips so that as soon as I click on any of these DVD clips, the DVD is already spinning so it'll go right to that particular part and uh, without any kind of delay show these different uh, DVD segments. Further, if you're using the advanced module or a Matrox triple head to go or dual head to go, you'll notice in our multi-screen options we have the ability to specify for our DVD output which screen the DVD will play out to, whether it be the left, center, or right most output. And if, this, if these options are available, you can actually just click on the radio button to determine which screen the, the DVD is going to be output to. Again, the limitations that we are given uh, by the hardware and software manufacturers of the operating systems limit us in our ability to play a DVD uh, out to only one window at a time. So that's, uh, that's kind of a limitation that we can't get around. However, this gives you some flexibility for determining which window or which output of your dual head to go or triple head to go that you would like to output that to. So those are the basics of DVD uh, clip production and we hope you enjoy it.